Some people are intimidated by manipulating equations, but what they don't know is that manipulating equations follow just one very simple rule. Let me take you through that. So let's look at this equation. 5x plus 3y equals 2bc. You can think of it like there is a left-hand side and a right-hand side. Now with these two sides, imagine that they are actually in a beam balance. So in this case, both sides are equal, both sides are balanced. But what happens if you subtract 3y from the left-hand side? The equation becomes imbalanced. Now here's my question for you. What should you do to make the equation balanced again? Well, I hope you did not find that very difficult because what you need to do is to just subtract 3y. And now they're balanced again. If you have learned and understood that concept, manipulating equations would be very easy for you. The only concept you need to know is that what you do on the left, you do the same on the right. So let's finish this equation. As you know, 3y minus 3y equals 0. So on your left, you're only left with 5x, which is now equal to 2bc minus 3y. What you do on the left, do the same on the right in the same order. And this includes your addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or whatever operations that you need to perform. Now let's finish this equation by finding x, which is the usual question anyway. So again, what you do on the left, do the same on the right in the same order. To isolate x, I just need to divide the left-hand side by 5, but since I did that for the left-hand side, I need to do that for the right-hand side as well. Now 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So effectively, that leaves me with x, and now my equation becomes x equals 2bc minus 3y over 5. And that is my answer. Now let's practice with some equations. Can you find x in this equations? Pause this video now and solve it. So let's take the first equation. 25x plus y equals 20. Can you guess what I'm going to do next? I will just subtract y on both sides. That will give me 25x equals 20 minus y. But I'm still not done yet. So just like with our example, I just need to divide both sides by 25. And that will give me x equals 20 minus y over 25. Second question. 25x plus xy equals 20. Now here's a trick that I will do. I will factor out x and multiply it by 25 plus y, which is equal to 20. Now how do I get x on my left-hand side? Well, I just need to divide it by 25 plus y and do the same 
for the right hand side. That will leave me with this answer. x equals 20 over 25 plus y. Let's try it again with a slightly different question. So now we have 25x minus xy equals 20 plus y. So first step, I will factor out x. So now it's x times 25 minus y, which is equal to 20 plus y. So what will I divide both sides with? So I just divided by 25 minus y, and I get my answer, x equals 20 plus y over 25 minus y. Are you having fun so far? I hope you're starting to find it easy. Now let's go to the fourth one. So now I have 25x squared equals 20 plus 2y. What I need to do is just take the square root of both sides. Remember, even with other operations, you have to do both sides. So because this is a square root, I actually get two answers. So 5x equals 20, square root of 20 plus 2y, or 5x equals minus square root of 20 plus 2y. So for the square root, you have a positive answer and a negative answer. So the next step is very easy. You just divide both sides by 5. That will give you two answers for x. x equals square root of 20 plus 2y over 5, or x equals minus square root of 20 plus 2y over 5. I hope you got all answers correct. And please like this video if you learned something or if you enjoyed it, and share this video to those who you think will enjoy and love watching this video. Comment if you want me to do similar videos and let me know what you want me to work on. And if you have any other questions or if you want to correspond, you can email me at inspiringsciencegeek at gmail.com. Math is enjoyable. <laughs>